Hey guys, so I already have my chair is slipping back. Okay, I already have my base done, but not in full. I literally just did foundation, concealer, set things with loose powder, and I did my eyebrows. One of them is higher up than the other one. So anyway, uh, social media, go follow me on there. It's a fun time, main channel. Everything will be in description, and I'll try to not forget to put the products that I'm actually using in the description. That'll be really fun. I've already got um, eyeshadow primer on. I'm just using the like the old 2016 MAC paint that I have, which is probably giving me like some kind of an eye infection. Ugh, why do I look bold? Okay, so today's very exciting. We have a few products I would just wanna use. Uh, I'm just looking at my mic because I'm hoping it's working well. Last time it just kind of stopped working for some reason. So I'm hoping this time it is. If it's not, I'm using my camera audio. So the tea is, I said I would wait with these, but then I got a 10% discount and I was like, I'm not gonna wait. So I bought myself the two Hourglass Christmas palettes. You guys know how I feel about these Christmas palettes. Oh my God, there's so much light shining everywhere. I have the last year's Ghost Edit one, which is one of these ones. It's in a bit of a state. It's kind of scratched up and dirty, but this is what it looks like. I've used up these powders completely. I am, um, if you look like kind of down on the, the blush and the bronzer, this blush is a little full still. And then the highlight I've used as well. Anyway, I love, this palette. I love these palettes. You can try so much and also there's no point of buying full size blushes because I never get through a blush. I just want to try different colors and just kind of, you know, just have that experience. This is the small palette, which I'm probably going to use for just like little trips once we start doing those kind of just weekend stuff. So it's got a finishing powder in soft light, bronzer, golden bronze light, blush, mood flush, and metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. Now, this palette is amazing, right? This blush here, what dreams are made of, it matches my nails. Then there's this powder, I love the powders, you guys know that the finishing powders are exquisite. This bronze is very pretty, but this highlight, everything that dreams are made of. It is smooth, but shiny, and it just looks so good. And then there's the big boy, which I love. I love how these are like geometric instead of this and it's gold instead of silver. I don't know, I just really like it. So this one comes with the same two powders that were in the, the ghost edit one. So there's obviously diffused light and dim light or the other way around. And then there's a highlight, bronzer, and then these two blushes. I used this one, it's super like summery vibes. And then this one is like that mauvey gray pink vibe. So we're gonna use one of these today. What do I wanna use? I think I'll use this big palette just because I'm, you know, just, just feeling like using this big palette. Some more exciting things, so don't worry. I received the Kaleidos PR, which is, this is so beautiful. It's just a suitcase. I love it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what's in there, but they also, when they reached out to me, they said I can get a few of the older products that they sold. So I'm gonna show you some of the older stuff that I picked, which was stuff that I was gonna buy anyway. I got three highlights, Ow, I got three highlights from them. So I have Star Surfer Diamond Dasher and Ray Rider, which I love the packaging of these. I think they're just such, such well done highlights. I don't know. This is Star Surfer. This is what that one looks like. This one has like a pink, like a more glittery pink reflex. So I like that. And then there's Ray Rider. I think this was like a, a, one of the favorites because I hear everyone talking about these highlights. And this is what this one looks like. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, I tried them on my hand yesterday. Some of them have more of a pink undertone. Some of them have more of a gold undertone. So I'm gonna try one of these today. I also, from the older collection, got the Kaleidos Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette, which is, I see like people's favorite. This is what this one looks like. I think the color scheme is absolutely stunning. These shimmer shades, very nice. And then, you know, the orange with the turquoise. And then I also picked the Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green, which is in this packaging. And it's one of my favorite color stories because it's just like, it's just what I want in an eyeshadow palette. You guys know this. It's a green and yellow. Very, very nice. And then from the old collection, I also, this I was so tempted by, it's the Escape Pod palette. It just looks like this, like this just screams my name. This purple up here and then these pinks and purples down here. Also these greens are very stunning. I'm gonna show you guys a few of these just to, to show you guys. Oh, they're so like wet. It's just crazy how, how beautiful these are. They're 
absolutely beautiful. I would use it today if it wasn't for the fact that we have a new collection, so I'm not gonna use it today. But um, I'll probably end up using these in future videos, along with, obviously I can't use all the highlights today. Which one am I gonna pick? I don't know, depending on obviously what look I do, I'll pick one of these highlights. And now let's get into the new collection that they have, which I've been very excited about, because I think these are some of, whoa, I just choked. These are some of my favorite, like, small, palettes that they've made. They have a lip gloss which is just shimmery and red and just very nice. Then we have three contour palettes and this packaging is so stunning that I just kept it in the packaging so I wanted to show it to you guys. So this is the light, medium and dark. So let me just show you guys how these open. They're like the, the creativity behind all of this is very nice. Um, so you just kind of pop, okay, hold on. You just pop this open and then it kind of opens up like that. And then it shows you what the product is and what the shade is. So this is Fill Shade and Chisel. You essentially get just like a, a contour kit, which is very nice. I'll use that today. So this is Warm and Medium. There's the Warm and Deep. Because this is more of a um, contour kit, I can still use the bronzers from the Hourglass palette. And then there's no blushes in here, so... That's fine. They also gave a little bow hairband, which I think is very cute. It's like a silky material. So they came out with two of these small palettes. I'm gonna start with the Sashimi City one because, and they do the same pop out thing because this one is more of that, like, I guess if everything else seemed too colorful, um, this is probably like gonna be a really popular palette for them because it, it will go with more people. So this is what this one looks like. It's just very pretty. I tried, I think it was this shade yesterday, which is like a bronzy rose gold pink. And it just switches between gold and pink. It's, oh my God, it's everything I want and more. So this one is gonna be like an everyday staple, I think. I, I mean, I've never tried this formula before, so I hope the one that like really spoke to me because you guys know how I feel about pastel shades, pinks, purples. It's just what I want. So this is this one. It's called Luna Lavender and it is by far like my favorite. Wow. Look at this shade right here. This one, I don't wanna dig my nail into it, but wow. Okay, so we're gonna use this one today. If you guys thought I would use anything else. So let's start with the Hourglass palette and go into just my regular routine. I'll take a fluffy brush and then what I do is kind of mix the two and i just put this all over it adds a sheen back into your face while also setting your face and making sure everything on top blends better it actually is a finishing powder so what you're supposed to do is kind of put it on right at the end when you're trying to like blend everything together and you i can still do that sometimes like when things are not blended i will just go in and kind of blend it together but i like to use this kind of as like a setting powder because I feel like it doesn't make my skin look so dry. I don't really contour much, but I guess we can change that today. So what I wanted to do is I didn't set under my eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish powder. You know what I'm talking about. One of my favorites. Because uh, I always do it for more coverage under my eyes. So I'm just going to use the top shade from the Kaleidos palette. Oh yeah, this works a very similar way. See that? How much like brighter it is. I just use that to like brighten under my eyes. Wow, that is, that is really nice and it didn't leave like a cakey finish. Let me just take a little more on my spots and just kind of wherever I need it. These powders tend to have a little more coverage, which is why I use them kind of on top of areas that need more coverage. I can put it down my nose, kind of on my forehead. I'm then gonna go into like a small fluffy brush. I'll go into the super cool toned and just try to like chisel my cheeks out. Or maybe I'll just mix them together. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, this is very like light, nothing crazy, which I like because um, I don't contour much and I think sometimes it can get a little bit much. So you can just kind of use this to create a subtle shadow like that. I really like the finish of these powders. They don't like create a powdery finish on your face. Very light and subtle. I really like this. I have one contour powder, which is the Kevin Aquan one that like Kathleen Lights used to bang on about. And I just realized that like, I'm not a big fan of how contour looks, but this is very subtle. There's nothing like crazy going on. I'm just doing under my nose kind of right here. And then I can just kind of very gently contour the sides of my nose right there. Very subtle, just right here. I can go up on my forehead right here. Anyway, if you're a big fan of like contouring or just adding some shape to your face, I think these powders are amazing and they come in like a bunch of different 
like tones so there is actually a bit for everyone i think i like how this looks it looks very subtle it's nothing crazy i just used a very like flimsy ignore the spot it makes it look like i just didn't blend anything and it doesn't leave too much fallout but anyway i really like the powder i think it's comparable to the airbrush finish from charlotte tilbury when it comes to using it under your eyes and these two aren't too cool toned not too warm toned they're just right and they're very subtle so they're very easy to blend out but they create that depth so i really really like that and i love the packaging of these products i think kaleidos has one of the best like vibes it's just very like futuristic just very i don't know it just feels very nice i'm gonna go into the hourglass palette and use the bronzer these are some of my favorite powders you guys know that i've been banging on about the other palette for a while there's like nothing new the quality is always amazing i don't think i've had a single hourglass like powder product where i was like oh this isn't nice because the quality is always there they always blend well and they're very buildable like you can really you know make it very pigmented or you can go in very lightly. Then, uh, so I used this blush already, so I kind of want to go in with this Movi one right here and just see how that looks. I mean, these powders just never disappoint. I think it just looks amazing. And I use one of these flimsy brushes to blend things out and I think it just looks so good every single time so that's the palette i'm so happy about these genuinely like one of the most exciting things i've bought in a while even though it seems really boring so it's like oh it's just a face palette but these are the key to my life now i'm gonna pick a highlight i think i'm gonna go in with one of the pinky ones so i think that'll be star surfer oh yeah this one's got like a a pink undertone ray rider has just like a champagne -y vibe to it see that the comparison this is this one's definitely more pink than this one and it's more glittery. And then we have Diamond Dasher, which also has a kind of pink vibe and it's also a little more glittery. So it's it's right here. Oh yeah, I'll use this one. So that's that one and that's that one. This one's definitely the pinkiest. So I'm gonna go in with Diamond Dasher today. Okay, I'll take one of my Sigma Soft Blend 50. I don't know how much I need. Probably not a lot. Oh, these are stunning this definitely has like a pinky undertone it's very nice oh my god this one's definitely more glittery i think it's ray rider yeah ray rider is like the smoothest of them these ones are definitely more glittery but i genuinely like glittery highlights which is why i'm such a big fan of the fenty diamond bomb how many carrots is that is that what it's called like you know just the straight glitter one so now that i'm all highlighted i'm gonna just go in with a setting spray i don't have a new one so i'm just gonna use the hourglass one not my favorite but i've kind of learnt how to use it a little bit better so the key is to kind of use it from far away but and then it kind of sprays more evenly it's only when you get up close and personal that it feels like it's not spraying evenly, but this looks fine. I still wouldn't say it's worth 50 pounds, but you know, it looks nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the star of the show, the Kaleidos Luna Lavender palette. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M433 brush. One of the only Morphe brushes I have. Yeah, and it's also the cleanest I have. I'm gonna go into this pastel shade here and just kind of see where we go from there. I love the size of these palettes. I think they're just right. Oh, they're definitely pigmented. Like that is, you can't tell because of the lighting. It's a little, it kind of blurs everything together, but the pigment is there almost immediately, which is nice. I'm just gonna tap that everywhere, just try and get as much pigment as possible out of it. And then just flick it out at the end, which is my preferred eye shape and just fill in any gaps. My eyes are kind of set out in a way where sometimes there's just gaps that I need to work harder to fill in because uh, I have more deep set eyes. This is blending out so beautifully. I love this. Okay, um, now I know why people are so obsessed with this formula because I think it's amazing. Okay, so this is what that looks like with just the light purple. You can definitely build it up to be like a, like a less less pastel shade if that makes sense or you can make it like a, a nice purple i kind of want to add a, maybe a little tad bit of this darker purple just to kind of deepen things up and then either one of these this is definitely more blue but i kind of want to go into it i'm gonna grab a zoeva Lux soft crease 221 it's just uh, one of these and then go into that deeper purple and then just kind of blend it 
on the outer edge and through the crease. These blend like a dream. Like, I just want to say that much, you know? These are very blendable. I don't know what I would compare the formula to. What have I used that's kind of similar to this? Maybe a little bit of like Odin's Eye kind of a thing. Like it's giving me like good quality indie vibes. Just like a bunch of my favorite formulas in one. This is so easy to blend out as well. And it's, you know, it's not the easiest shade to formulate or use. And you can essentially just apply this the way you would like a, a nude natural shade. Also there is zero fallout, so that's Incredible. Just making sure everything is even. I want to make sure there's a little bit more purple in the outer corner, kind of up to the halfway point on my eye. Okay, so that is kind of where we're at with this one. This looks so much more blue on camera than it does in person, but I guess it does like a switch. So it's purple and then it's blue. See from far away it's blue, but then up close it's more pur purple. This is such a stunning shade. From here, it looks like a glittery version of this. But to you guys, it looks blue. But now to me, it looks blue as well. That will be an interesting shade. I'm gonna put this one all over the kind of inner half and then I'm gonna probably use this one in the inner corner. And I think that will be a good, a good combo. What I'm gonna do though is take the old brush and kind of go back into that pastel shade just a little bit and then graze the edges and pull that color up a bit. Cause once you apply shimmery shades, sometimes I realize that like I, I didn't apply the color high enough so then it ends up just disappearing so I kind of want to add a little bit more of that pastel back and because I don't know how these perform I'm just going to use my favorite method which is uh, my revolution glitter glue I use this for everything I'm just going to take a little brush and then cut the crease with that you guys know the drill if you've been here a while after I've done that I'm going to just go in with a brush and then just apply it onto the glitter glue oh my god yes do you guys see that that is insane I love this shade so much. It's such a interesting bluey purple. It's almost got like an electric blue vibe to it while also just being purple. It's so stunning. I'm just gonna kind of blend that into the mattes. Uh, there's barely any fallout. This is what that looks like. I think this shade is one of my favorite blue purple. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. I think it looks so stunning. Okay, I need to drag this one out a little bit more. So then I'm gonna just take that, Just I just wiped off whatever glitter was left on, like whatever shimmer was left on there. Uh, with a dry brush, I'm just gonna go into this light purple shade very gently and go into the inner corner. Oh yeah, that that's such, it kind of goes well with the highlight is what I've realized. I think I'll put on the brow bone as well, but just tap it off and just very gently graze the brow bone with that. Okay, I'm gonna just take like a flat brush and go into the deeper purple. Uh, just go straight into the deeper one. Oh, that is pigmented. Oh my God, that's crazy. And just do the, the same on the other side. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is take the M433 brush that I used for the pastel shade and go into the pastel and then just graze it on the edges and blend it kind of up into the, the angle. Okay, want to add some of that blue on the bottom just to kind of join things up. I'm gonna take a tiny more bit of glitter glue, put a tiny bit on this side and then put a tiny bit on this side. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I'm really not getting much fallout, mainly with using the glitter glue. It just works really well. This has now become one of my favorite palettes. This shade right here is magic. Like it just looks magical. This shade on the inner corner looks amazing. Um, it kind of ties it in with the highlights. It's more pinky. These two, very beautiful. Uh, you could definitely deepen it up with like this cool toned ashy brown or kind of use this in the trans, like as a transition shade. It's very like, oh my God, these feel so wet. Like I can't explain what these feel like, but they, cause I haven't even swatched these, which is crazy. These are very stunning. I can't wait to use this one, the Sashimi City one. I think this, I think this looks so good. Like this just screamed my name. 
I think all of these little palettes are so cool for like just going on holiday uh, and just vibing, you know, just hanging out. This one, so nice. I want to try this green and this yellow. Wow. And this like mustardy yellow. This reminds me of like the Melt Gemini one but it's just more like compact more small this has like a different finish to it it's more shimmery i just kind of want to go over these these very very beautiful i want to touch this blue now that i've started swatching things it kind of um shifts to a yellow to like a gold so it makes like a greeny turquoise i also want to touch this silver it's it's kind of silver but it's kind of yellow it's crazy. This would be such an amazing inner corner and brow bone highlight. I kind of want to do one of these. That's so beautiful. I just want to kind of give you guys a comparison. This is Ray Rider. This is Star Surfer. And then this is Diamond Dasher. You can see the difference between the three. And I know they have some crazier shades and I kind of want to try those out as well. So I might just buy a few. I know they have like a blue, like a hot pink. I want to use the gloss. I don't know if it's going to, is it going to go with this look? If I do it very lightly, I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of this. It's called a Lucid Lip and it's in the shade Dramatize. Very nice. It's got just like a doe foot applicator. Oh my god, these are very nice. It's not so crazy that I, I was scared it was gonna just be like straight red. I actually prefer more sheer lip glosses because I just think they they go with they just go with more looks. It's not sticky or anything. Uh, I like the doe foot. It's long, but it's more like precise, so you can really get all up in there. And this is what it looks like. Very nice. It's such like a your lips but better shade. I'm just using the Pat McGrath mascara. I finished the Hourglass one. So this is the look for today. I just think everything looks so beautiful. It's just so like, mm, I can't explain it. It just looks so good. Anyway, I love the lip gloss. I love obviously the Hourglass palettes. They're incredible. Like genuinely one of the best deals because Hourglass is so expensive. Full sizes of blushes, bronzers, and everything else is about 40 pounds, 45 pounds ish. You never really go through a blush or a bronzer. You might go through these powders, so that's the only thing you'd have to repurchase. But just in general, like having this variety is so good. Two blushes, one bronzer, one highlight, two powders. You have the variety. And then the four pan one is even more affordable. And then you can kind of just try one blush, one bronzer, one highlight, and one powder. So if you're buying from the Hourglass website for the first time, you can just do like the welcome 10, I think, like if you sign up or just use someone's code, that kind of a thing. And then you can get 10% off of these. So then, you know, you get them for much less. I think this one is about 70. So then you'll get it for 63. For six products, that's essentially just like 10 pounds for each mini size, which is such a good bargain because these are usually much more than 10 pounds and then i think the smaller one is about 50 or 40 and then you can get on 10 percent off as well if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below anything you want to comment down below and subscribe to post videos every time something comes to my head and i want to do it so that bell you'll be notified when that's happening social media links main channel affiliate links any other links in description i'll see you in my next one bye guys